Hey, what's up everyone? Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be bringing you some gameplay for the F5E. This is a beast of a plane. This is from the dev server. It is a rank 7 fighter, BR 10.7. And I know that everyone is so excited about the MiG-23 for this update. Personally, I was too until I actually got my hands on this. It is amazing to fly. I know... Of course, it is the dev server. Flight models aren't completely finalized, but I'm pretty sure the F5E is pretty close to being finalized because the F5A was already in game, and uh, this is not too far off, except that it has insane acceleration. Those engines are much more powerful. When this is fully upgraded, the engines max thrust before, you know, not considering afterburners, are more powerful than the F5C and the F5A when they do have their afterburners engaged. That's how powerful these engines are. Either way, just I'll let the gameplay go for itself, but there's four different matches. One where I use the Chungus Cannon, one where I use Bone Stock, one with missiles, one with missiles and the Chungus Cannon. Either way, I'm getting kills in, either, in all of those, and I don't even think I lost a single match. Maybe one. I might have died twice tonight. That's it. But that being said, I do have a giveaway to announce. Uh, if you are still in the uh, you know applicable dates, congratulations, you're eligible for this giveaway. All that you have to do is subscribe and comment. So subscribe to my channel, comment below, and on June 5th is when it ends. So from the release date of this video to June 5th, 2021 is when it ends. And then on June 6th, I will announce three winners of 1,000 Golden Eagles each. So just what you're going to want to do again is comment. And then once a uh, I pick a random comment and it'll be picked through a random comment selector, I will uh, you know reach out to all of you. I will comment on your comment. So I'll reply to your comment. And at that point, you just tell me what your in-game username is, in-game nickname, and I will send you 1,000 Golden Eagles. So remember, subscribe and comment all before June... Well, by the time June 5th ends, 2021, and you are eligible for this. But that being said, let's get in some gameplay because I'm really, really stoked for you guys to see it. So, yeah. Anyways, this gameplay, uh, I plan on having three different gameplay videos for the F5E uh, in that, uh, or three different matches for this. Uh, basically, just kind of showing off one with the Chungus Cannon on the uh, bottom of this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous cannon. Uh, because, as you can see, man, that is just, I mean, it's about as, it goes down about as far as the, uh, whatchamacallits, and thus far, my experience with the FIV has been really good. Again, remind you that this is the dev server, but it is still a fairly decent representation of how this plane will fly, and besides, it's already in the game, kind of, as the F5A, albeit this is a much improved version. So, let me just shut off some of this uh, music, because, okay, I don't know if that's copyrighted. Anyways, so, this is a beast of a plane, and I mean, the stock, the bone stock variant of this plane is substantially quicker than the premium, bear in mind, totally upgraded F5C. It is substantially faster, um, which is, in my opinion amazing <laughs> because these and that's one of the the big draws i guess you could say to the um to the f5e as opposed to the f5c even though they at least currently occupy the same br again this is the dev server um you are seeing a much much faster uh, acceleration and i've got the chungus cannon so it doesn't quite accelerate as fast but it's still plenty good and I've actually had great experience versus the MiG-23. I think I killed one or two my first match, and that was bone stock. I think that these guys are probably traveling in a pair. To be honest with you, I'm flying a little bit forward. So I'm going to turn around. And, you know, with this cannon on the, the bottom of it, it's going to perform quite a bit worse, which is what you're seeing here. It's not nearly as maneuverable be honest with you, I'd fear that MiG-21 much more, but this MiG-23 is coming in for a kill. I'm trying to, at least. But I've got the Chungus can. Nope. See? And I can't quite turn. Now, without this cannon, and the flaps actually deploy, you can have those at a fairly high speed with this, but the um, MiG-23s are absolutely terrible when it comes to turning. What I've noticed thus far. 
Um, but this plane without the over encumbered uh, Chunkus cannon on the. Okay. I think he just thought he was going to die. So yeah, the the MiG twenty or the uh, F five E with the without the cannon on the bottom is really maneuverable. I mean, this thing is a joy to fly. Like I said, first match with this on the dev server, I went three and zero. Uh, I think I killed two two actual enemies, like people rather than just bots, which is what this is full of, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, it's just not that fast, as you can see here. I mean, but. To be fair, most things are not going to be able to catch a MiG-23, uh, whether they are people or otherwise. So, I don't really take offense that he's really outpacing me. Um, but yeah, F5C is a real beast. So, I'm going to try to catch up to this MiG-19. Uh, German, I think, was that 10.0? Nope. Okay. This MiG oh, the MiG-23 is attempting to take a uh, turn. That thing turns like a yacht, man. And not a good one. I've not used the Chungus Cannon in battle yet. He's going to hit the ground, isn't he? Man, do these people have bad connections or do they just not know how to play? Okay. So that takes out all of the human players because they all crashed into the ground. I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but that's unfortunate because I really... Okay. Okay. Easy kill. So one thing I noticed about the 20 millimeters, and bear in mind that was a bot. Uh, one thing I noticed about the 20 millimeters on this thing is that do, they do not do a great job of knocking people out. Um, it's unfortunate because, I mean, I actually get crits with them pretty decently. Um, but that 30, uh, the 35 or the 30, whatever it is, the gal, that's what's knocking these guys out. It's not by any means my 20. It's the gal. The Chungus Cannon. Get another kill here. Easy. Okay. But this is really... They're just feeding me kills here because... I mean, they're bots. They just fly in front of my guns on purpose. They feel bad. I don't know. But hey, it makes making a uh, gameplay video easy. Oh, that's the uh, new Chinese jet. Was the new Chinese jet. <laughs> But apparently that's actually quite a quick jet. I think it's a uh, derivation on the MiG-21, if I'm not mistaken, but really a homegrown uh, version of it. And that's like probably where Chinese aircraft really start to, di start to diverge from uh, Soviet aircraft is with that plane specifically, the J-72. Uh, from what I am aware of, I believe that's the case. But I feel like these what happens a lot in these matches is you have a lot of these... Um, planes, these bots, they start to try to like fake a head on and then they get out of the way making it easy to kill. Yeah, like this. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't want to use up more ammo and I paid for it. So now they're just going to fly in straight paths and not die. See how bad this thing is with the, uh, the cannon on the bottom? It's just so slow to turn. I mean, if once, once you see me, I'll probably play my next match, um, stock. Uh, well, without um, anything. You'll see how agile this thing is. Probably now. Okay. So, all I have left is the Chungus Cannon. Uh, TM, by the way. That is a uh, catchphrase now. Thank you, Jaeger Wall. Oh! Yeah. Can I? Nice! Nice, okay. So all that are left are Cooper and Sam. I got nine rounds left. I've got six kills. I'll probably get like a million RP. Like after three kills, I got 42,000. Dev servers really want you to get RP. But yeah, assuming that's the end of the match for me because Cooper just crashed and Sam's about to die, uh, I'd say it's this is a pretty impressive plan. Again, this is versus a lot of bots, but... Uh, Really cool stuff here. I like it. Ha! Huh, I got the kill! <laughs> Chungus can strikes again. I got seven kills. I'll be it with bots, but man, that 30 millimeter cannon, that'll knock them out. 
So in this match, I mean, just kind of in the spirit of comparison, because the F4C can only include AIM 9Es, whereas this can include, if I'm not mistaken, AIM 9Js, I decided to equip it with, well, AIM 9Es, just to kind of show you exactly how this thing might perform. And again, I, I well, if I haven't mentioned before, I will have a video about the F4C, hopefully the following day. Again, dev blog or dev servers, just keep that in mind. So these are not <laughs> complete products, but um, just so I can give you guys kind of an idea of how this would fly versus, um, I wonder if that's the late version versus whatchamacallit's. Oh, shoot. I never set up my uh, my tracking. Oh, whoops. This isn't good. That MiG-23 might be an easy target. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, nope, nope. Ah! Yeah, you're not going to get me, dude. Tell you what, I'm gonna die now though. First death all day. Wait, why are my flares not attached to the control? That's why I had. Is this guy really trying to get into a turn fight with me? Oh, he's dead. That's what that is. Um. Uh, lock. Air weapon lock. Well, I wish I had known that before. Huh. So normally I just have it on X, but uh, this time I had it on Alt X, I guess. Whatever. He's still going down. See, that thing turns like a bus. Not that difficult. Although I wasn't the one who got the kill, so... Let's see. Bots do not like to engage from the front. Okay, I got a hit, at least. Oh, whoops. Okay, I guess you can't really uh, put the flaps out at that high of a speed. Although, to be fair, you can still put them out at, like, what, I think 800 plus miles per hour. Kilometers per hour. Which is how I play this game, with kilometers per hour. Just because it's more authentic. Well, mainly because I was just too lazy to change the uh, settings. Got some PE-8s. That might be fun target practice, but I'll stay in with the actual dogfight here. Okay. Okay. This guy is not going to engage, but... Nice. Got the wing spars. Easy kill. Normally, I do not like to kill uh, that close range with a missile. But why not, right? Wasn't that bad. And so they got one guy left. Oh, that's the guy who they had left. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Video over. But oddly enough, I'm not dead yet. I guess that means that this is a tough cookie. Also, I have to go set up my flares. So, yeah. Uh, with the F5... I don't know why I was thrown into the middle of this match. Um, with the F5E, I feel like this actually might be one of the more played loadouts. Because you have the Chungus Cannon. Which actually... It stinks because it really is such a detriment to the... Um, to the can't like to the overall aerodynamics of this. I wish it was kind of like a blister gun pod, kind of like they had, if I'm not mistaken, on like B-25s uh, in World War II. But um, you know, rather than just this, I'd rather have you know 20s or even supplemental uh, HMGs on this thing. Just my opinion. Uh, if it really didn't uh, you know affect flight performance quite like this, but that's beside the point. This is a meme can, but. Um, I feel like this might be one of the more popular loadouts. You have missiles and the Chungus Cannon. The reason being, and I feel like it's actually a pretty simple reason, is because the 20 millimeters on this thing stink, to, uh, to be quite honest with you. Oh, 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 he's getting into a good vector. Nope, nope, nope. And so, 
If I didn't have this cannon, I have no doubt that I would have largely been able to stay behind him. Okay, I'm not going to die to you. I'm not going to die to you today. Maybe my ally will, though. Uh, we got some enemy somewhere. There he is. There he is. This guy is my first. I shouldn't have went away. I could have gotten the kill. Oh, he's dead. But yeah, this thing destroys aerodynamic performance. I mean, so much. It's bad. Eh, maybe. I don't know if my missiles are actually going to reach him. Uh, they're not all that fast. Plus, he's kind of in a slight maneuver. But yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, the 20 millimeters on this thing are tr like just trash. I mean, outright not good. Um, as in their stock configuration, at least, they are not good. Ah, farts. I was kind of hoping I'd get a hit. I, uh, you know what? I might get a hit here with my aim nines. But, um, yeah. Oh, good. So, yeah, my 20s are just not good. Uh, to kind of relay a story to you. Yeah, your MiG-23 speed doesn't do all that well in a dog or a uh, head-on where you don't know how to do it. But um, I'm actually kind of surprised the 30 didn't kill him. Nice. But uh, to relay a story to you, I was behind an F4. Um, F, I believe, late. Probably the late because I'm in the dev server. Man. That's embarrassing. And, um, yeah, I was sitting behind him. And I probably railed off. Even the 30s don't kill him, I guess. Um, I probably railed off around 20 or 30 direct hits with my 20s on them. And I had... I barely killed them. I mean, I had crits. Uh, numerous crits on them. And... Oh, wow. Two kills. Nice. Two player kills, actually, in a row right there. Nice. Uh, but, yeah, I had tons of hits on them. Um, probably upwards of 20. And, I mean, it was just terrible. Because he didn't die. And that was with stock ammunition, albeit. Um, for whatever reason, I, I looked afterwards. I noticed I did not have anti-air. I'm sure that would have more done the trick. But these 20s are just not good. Like, you need to have missiles because... Wait, I'm being tracked? Uh, that's Aichi? Eh, he's a bot. What's he gonna do? They're here for my enjoyment. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, run away. Anyways... I'll probably go for Lindsay. He's on a slightly more direct vector. Not really, though. Nope. Doesn't matter. Ugh. Ugh, I'm so embarrassing. I bring shame to everyone that I know. Can't even do a proper strafe. Aerial strafe. Uh, yeah, I'll bet you Vignenti or whatever his name is. He's probably being chased. I'll go after Daiichi. This should be an easy one. Oh, wow. Da Whoa, what? Is Daiichi a bot? First time I've been fired on by a, uh, a bot. Whoa, maybe they're turning hostile. That was weird. These bots are supposed to be friendly. They're supposed to be moving targets, man. Mm, can I, can I, can I? Nope. I didn't aim far enough ahead. Eh, you know what? Maybe I could still. Nope. Oh, that's that. I'm guessing... Eh, I could have gotten that kill. I'm guessing that this match is over, so... Skip to the next gameplay. So, yeah. One thing I really want to stress is that the um, F5E is really quick, but it's still not going to be as fast as a Phantom. I mean, those things accelerate off the line way faster than this. And the thing is, the F5E does it way faster than the F5C. Okay. Not sure what happened. Maybe someone dropped... Maybe he dropped some ordnance. Anyways, this thing is even substantially faster than the F5C. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, you're seeing, like, I mean, 
but as you can see here, I mean, I'm still going plenty fast. And one thing I've noticed in that in these matches, again, dev server, dev server, dev server, I cannot stress that enough, um, is that even though the flight models aren't completely complete, you know, I feel like they're pretty close to what they should be. Um, one thing that I'm noticing is that American teams with F5s are absolutely dominating. Dominating Soviet teams. Um, I mean, it's it's wild. So I've got an F oh an A9P just misfired. That was bad. I'm not sure why. Um, that why was that bad? But yeah, let's see. Let's nice A9P. But yeah, like we are absolutely dominating these guys. And I'll be it. There's a lot of bots, but we have a lot of bots on our team. Actually, I think they have one more bot than we do. Or we have one more bot than they do. Or no, maybe not. I think it's about equal. But it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I don't know if I've lost once tonight. Out of like eh, seven or eight matches with this thing. Uh, I've died once, maybe. Oh, you'll see how weak these, these cans are. Oh, unless he dies by crashing into a hillside. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyways, these cans are really weak. Um... Oh, wow, I did not. Oh, that's a MiG-23. What do I have to worry about? What's he going to do, turn on me? <laughs> no, he's not. Because he can't. <laughs> MiG-23s are like, they are sad, man. They are not good. Oh, I guess he just enjoys hitting the ground. That's no fun. I'm going to land here because... My 312 cannon rounds, it might be enough to get two kills, maybe. But the more important thing is that I'm out of missiles, which is not good. Oh, I forgot to use my air brakes. The air brakes on this thing are surprisingly decent. Even though they're small, this is such a small, light plane where it doesn't need these big, chonky uh, air brakes. So it actually does quite well with these. Which is nice. But yeah, I haven't really made up my mind yet whether I'd just be flying with missiles or use the Chungus Cannon, TM, mind you. Uh, that is TM, trademark, copyright. Um, but yeah, I haven't really decided whether I want to use the missiles full-time, the cannon and the missiles. Just, well, wouldn't make sense just to use the cannon and, you know, no missiles if you have the option. But, you know, I mean, I guess you do have the options, but this thing is, it's smooth. Oh, wow. Thank you, bot. Bots in the dev server, like, they crash into the ground inexplicably. I'm not really sure why. Um, you know, you'll see if you play dev server. <laughs> like, you just take off and, you know, you just look behind you and, like, there's one or two, like, fireballs, like, leaving a plane wreck. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Like, uh, Gaijin's strong suit is probably not AI. At least not for the time being. You know, they don't really do anything at all. They're just targets. Block Trap, is he a player? I don't think he is. Maybe he is. I'm not sure. I think, like, as the match goes on, more players join. But, yeah, this has been pretty much the story. I feel like... Oh, I only have an assist and a kill. I feel like this is the story of the, of the dev server, though, is, again... Match after match, American planes are dominating. I think it's because the F5 is a match for the MiGs. I mean, where the MiGs used to be so, like, where they're so good with ad agility, good mix of speed, agility, and, you know, decent firepower and missiles, now the Americans have that. Um, whereas, like, with the F4, it wasn't really so much about agility. They had the missiles, they had the speed. Kind of like what the F or the MiG-23 is doing right now. They had all that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I meant to press my missile lock button. They had all that. But now, as, a, as the uh, American tech tree, we have it. And it is nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not trying to kill you, buddy. <sighs> Whoops.
Nothing's my problem, dude. I've got video. So, yeah, this is probably going to be my final match uh, with the F5E, at least for this gameplay video. And uh, some things to know is this along with the F5C, and I'm sure anyone who's played the F5A in the actual game can tell you, you will be returning to the airfield a lot. So this is a bone stock, bone dry uh, configuration, which is what I said I would do. The F5E is really fast um, or really agile, bone dry. And you'll see that hopefully in this gameplay. But um, I decided to do one final test um, in test flight mode. And with the F5E, uh, before, you know, when this was bone stock, it went zero to about 100 kilometers per hour in, I think, around, what was it, nine and a half seconds, give or take. It does it in about three quarters of a second faster now, which might not seem like a lot, but that's quite a bit, especially from, from stock, uh, especially when considering that the C does it in 12 and a half seconds. Yeah, I've got air. Uh, air belts equipped, so I would hope that that would kill him. Uh, wow, got the first strike. Nice. But yeah, um, oh, ooh, those juicy targets. But yeah, this plane is amazing. I think it's, thus far, this is maybe my favorite plane, um, in the game. I can't wait to fly this in the regular game because... I don't know. I just feel like it is going to be amazing at pretty much everything. Except for, man, I am missing all my head-on or near head-on shots today. But, um, yeah, it'll be pretty close to amazing. Ah, I should just stop firing unless I'm behind, huh? That's embarrassing. I don't feel like... What is, that's not... That's not... That's a, I mean, that's a bot, right? can hardly even speak. Um, but yeah, amazing, amazing plane, and, uh, I really like it a lot. Okay, at least I got a crit. He's probably flailing around now. Um, I'll go for this guy. Maybe. Okay. That's all it takes. A few hits. That's all it takes. But yeah, I mean, again, this is dev server. Flight models aren't completely accurate yet. Um, you know, they should be pretty decent for this plane, being that it's already basically in the game as the F5A. Um, same with the F5C, it's basically the F5A, so it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so the flight models are pretty much fleshed out for these ones, I'm sure, for the most part. Again, not entirely because this is still the dev server. I've said it probably like 30 times. And the MiG-23, I just don't know if those are fleshed out yet. I know that the J-7-2 for the ja or for the Chinese is not 100%. Uh, it's or is, I mean, it's not 100%, but I can confirm from the live stream. Wow. Okay, nice. So the ammo belts on this thing really set things on fire um, if they're on anti-air. But yeah, the as far as I know, the J7-2 uh, is pretty much... Flight model is not complete. Um, I would imagine the F5, like I said, is pretty close, but yeah. Anyways, like I said, uh, one, th hey, yeesh. one thing that you'll notice when flying this thing, like I said, is you will be going back... It's kind of like drinking a lot of water. Um, and just going to the bathroom a lot, you'll be landing at base a lot just so you can refuel, not refuel so much, but rearm. I mean, it's got such limited ammunition between the, uh, 250, really? I would have thought that would have hit. Between the 250 shells, uh, stock that you have and, uh, just two missiles that you can bring along. Um, it is pretty bad in that regard. Really? Just give me the kill. Really? Eh, whatever. He's toast. You can steal my kill. I don't care. 
Ah, uh, no, that's Reinhardt. He's not gonna steal a kill. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this match is over. I've been getting three, four, five kills. I mean, of course, it's bots, but this plane is a hoot. Anyways, remember, please, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me, as always. I hope you enjoy this gameplay. Tell me what I can do better if you actually watch this gameplay. That would mean the world to me. But, uh, yeah. Signing out for the night, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.